In today's episode, I'll show you how I put together these ale and wine bottles for use in your tabletop taverns. So I was at the Dollar Tree and I spotted this little earring jewelry making kit and thought that this would be a neat way to use a lot of the pieces or at least these little uh, hat pins along with a couple of small beads to make some bottles for like ale and stuff like that. Uh, the Dollar Tree also had these. These are 5 and 10 millimeter beads. They came in a nice large pack and yeah, buck 25 for like a hundred beads of each kind. Really good price, really good craft material. So we're gonna start things off by making an ale bottle. Now I'm using a uh, decently sized Toho seed bead and a uh, micro iron bead or mini iron bead to kind of form the stem of the bottle. So we're just going to put a little dab of super glue and slide the seed bead up and that's gonna be our cork and then slide the iron bead up and that's going to be the neck of the bottle. Then taking one of the five millimeter beads, I'm just going to do a dab of super glue and then slide that up and there we go. Quick, simple ale bottle. So I made a few extra of those and then using a regular sized iron bead, uh, I, eh, camera focus, there we go. I glued that onto the bottom to kind of make a uh, elongated uh, bottle section and then using another seed bead I'm going to slide that into the bottom of the iron bead just to kind of give it a little bit more stability so that it doesn't you know shift around and the glue can dry properly this will also make it a little bit more bottom heavy then taking a strip of uh, construction paper I cut this to about six seven millimeters in width and it's maybe 30 millimeters long or so, uh, just enough to do a couple of wraps. I'm gluing that in place with a little bit of super glue just to tack it on, and then using a little bit of uh, Mod Podge, I'm going to wrap it around the iron bead just to kind of help create a better transition from the iron bead to the five mil bead. All right, so while that's drying, let's make a spiced wine bottle. So we're gonna use a different uh, hat pin uh, just to make sure that it fits a little bit nicer. Uh, the other ones didn't really fit all the way up to the head of the pin. So same starting process, a seed bead, and then this is a, a tube bead that I picked up at Michael's. I'm using it to create a slightly longer neck. Now using a 10 millimeter bead, I'm going to slide that up, but as you can see, it kind of fits around the uh, tube bead. So we're going to glue that in place at about two thirds of the tube bead exposed, just to create a little bit longer neck, but not super long. And then again, to increase stability, we're going to slide one of the micro iron beads sorry, mini iron beads into the bottom just to create a little bit of stability. Now gluing them onto a stick for you know a little bit easier time painting, I took them out and did a base coat in satin black and then I used some burnt sienna to give the ale bottles a kind of clay appearance. It doesn't quite look like it now but once we give it a wash it'll look a lot more like clay. Now we're going to paint the wine bottles, and I'm thinking kind of a red wine. So we're going to start with a deep red. Um, one of the pieces fell off. Super glue doesn't always work to hold things perfectly in place. Uh, I'm going to do two coats of this just to kind of make sure that there's a full, even coating on the bottles. Once that's dry, we're going to do some crimson. Uh, now I'm doing this a little bit lower on the bottle so that we have kind of a uh, gradient color for the red. Then 
Then we're going to paint the whole rounded section of the spiced wine bottles with a deep green. Then once that's dry, I'm going to use a Fethello green on the bottom two thirds of the bottle just to kind of create a little bit of the start of a gradient. Now this will dry a lot darker and kind of give a nice little bit of a blend. Now once that's done, at just over halfway down, I'm going to use some light green and paint a kind of like a strip all the way around the bottle. All right, so once that's all dry, we're going to use some warm gray to paint the cork section of all the bottles. And then once that's dried, we're going to use some Agrax Earthshade. I'm going to paint over the entire bottle for the small ale bottles, but just the corks on the rest of them. This will give the Burnt Sienna a more clay-like appearance, and it'll help make the warm gray for the corks look a little more cork-like. Okay, so now to kind of create a little bit more of a spiced wine bottle appearance, we're going to create a uh, basket wrap for the bottle. And I'm going to uh, start that by attaching a little rubber spacer to the bottom. Then using some uh, fairly thin string, I'm going to kind of tack that in place with a drop of super glue. And then once that's set, I'm going to start wrapping it around the bottle and continue about halfway up the bottle. So you can wrap this as high or as low as you want, but you really want that gradient to be very visible. So I'm stopping about halfway up so you can still see all the colors. Quick snip, press it all into place. And now to kind of give it that wicker basket almost appearance, we're going to do a quick little paint job over all of the string with a 50-50 mix of yellow ochre and warm gray. This will give it that nice kind of yellow appearance that everyone who's played Elder Scrolls will probably be aware of and familiar with. All right, so that is the first episode in our new project series where we are building up a bunch of tavern props and supplies. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope to see everyone next episode where we continue on with our tavern. Having completed your adventure and making your way back to town, the weather takes a harsh turn. You need to find shelter and spot signs to a nearby tavern. As you enter, the dwarven bartender is happy to see you and greets you warmly. He offers you a pint of his finest beverage. But after a long, hard day, the ale hits you harder than you expect. Make a constitution saving throw. Alright everyone, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe for future content, comment in the comment section, and we will see everyone next episode.